I'm Joe with Knight Power Sports Products, and this is our Terex Diff Lock Speed Limit Bypass Kit. Inside the box, you'll get some paperwork and a sticker, cable tie with the push fastener on there, and one wire harness, and then the switch with the wire harness. And now I'll show you how to install it. I raised it up and took the wheel off, mainly for video purposes, but it would give you more access if you wanted to do that. The first step is to open the hood. If you have the other Terex model, you may need to take some other plastics off. Then you'll come inside here on this exact model. You need to remove this piece. To do that, you're gonna remove your fuse here. There's a cable tie here. You'll have to cut that and then pull these out of this part. And then on this piece, you have in these holes here are those push fasteners that you can use a flathead screwdriver to get out or you can use the tool that you're supposed to use for those. Either way works. On the front side of this piece here, there's four Phillips head screws. You need to remove those as well. And then you'll be able to get this piece off like this. Now that we have that removed, you're going to remove your stock switch. That's right here. This is your switch. This is for the safe box. If you don't know what that is, you should definitely check our website for that. This switch here on the back side, you're going to remove the connector, disconnect the four pin connector that you could see here. You lift this tab on this part of it and then pull the wire harness that's connected into here out. And then on the back of this switch is a couple um, parts that you can squeeze. Basically you wanna push this switch out the front of your dash. You see my hands are in the way, but this switch comes out the front of your dash. And what you're trying to do is squeeze on these parts here as you push the switch this direction out the dash. Now this is removed. We can start installing the new kit. First, take this switch, remove this knob with a two millimeter Allen wrench. You just need to come in the back side here and loosen the set screw that's in that hole. And then this knob will come off. And then with a three millimeter, remove the face plate here and take these two screws out completely. And then we can install this switch into the dash. This switch gets installed from behind the dash. It does not push out of the front like your stock switch did. So come up to the back side of your dash here and take this switch and go right through the hole that you had the other switch come out of. Just like that. And now if you come and look on this side, you can see where the face plate will go. I can take the faceplate that I just removed before, install this back in here. This, and straighten this out so that it's up and down, and tighten these screws down, just snug. And then the same way we took the knob off, with the two millimeter Allen wrench, we can put it on and just tighten up the uh, set screw that holds that on. Now we installed that using the two millimeter uh, Allen wrench, the wires that are back here. This is the OEM wire that was plugged into your other switch. Plug this into this connector here. That's your OEM switch. That one's coming off of the new switch. This one's also coming under the new switch. We'll hook that up in a minute. This long wire that comes off of your new switch, feed it down between your frame rails here. And you're gonna go all the way down to the actuator. Follow this down. Until it 
comes out all the way down here. All right, so we got these wires down here. You're gonna wanna be on that side of the bike where the camera is. I'm trying to come over here so you can see what's going on. The number one wire is on the bottom sensor. That's gonna stay there. The number two wire is in the middle. That's gonna come out and this is going to get plugged into your white wire. Like that. The green wire is going to go where the number two wire was on the middle sensor. The number three wire comes off and is not hooked up anymore. You can put some electrical tape over that and keep that out of the way. And the purple wire is going to go on the top sensor where your number three wire was, just like that. Okay, now everything's hooked up at the bottom on the differential. Take this wire harness up here and find where your electronic actuator plugs into your wire harness. That's right where we just were with the other wires. I'm going to disconnect them, plug in this jumper in between. So plug this into your OEM wire harness like that, and then plug this side in to your electric actuator. So the electric actuator wire is down here, kind of hard to see, but I unplugged that. And now this is going in between. It's kind of like a uh, jumper with this section coming off of it. So we have this in between where your electronic actuator used to be plugged in. And then this wire, we're gonna go through the frame just like we did before underneath the frame, I mean, and plug this into the last connector that's on the back of your switch. And that's it, everything's hooked up there. Um, you're gonna want to test it, make sure everything works first and you have good connection on everything. Then use zip ties or some electrical tape to tape everything up to make sure that nothing is loose and flapping around or anything like that. Now, everything's all set. We'll put this back on here. Watch out for the safe box mount there. We put the push fasteners back in most of these spots. The four screws on the front here. The cable tie goes in this hole, the push fastener and these get pushed back into position here. The fuse cover back on here. And then once you have all the other fasteners in, you can close your hood. Put your tire on, lower it down, right, and so you're done. We're ready to go for test drive now that it's all done. Down, crawl up this hill. 